Battle Royal is about to start. So everything is about to heat up here. Mike Mars going in the ring. Xavier Maxim on his way. There's the Archangel, new tag team champion. The thing they're going to be fighting for tonight is the Triad Comic Con Championship. There goes TDT. Big Bite heading in the Battle Royal. Big Bite, any last words before you go into the Battle Royal? Six. All right, there we go, man. A few words, but we're starting out this Battle Royal right now. We're going to go over here. We're, there's Chicano Power ready to go. Chicano, any last words? I got this. The big bite, he's not waiting long again to fight. So fans, it's... So you can see, I just want to say this, this is the best, most exciting match in all of wrestling, the Battle Royal. And all the competitors are facing off. There's Big Rob, Mike Mars, about to start it off. There's Big Bite. So fans, it's about to heat up right here. You see it. There we have Yellow. Sorry about that, folks. Yellow trying to get in the ring. So, okay, so there you are, fans. Yellow, yellow, not in the ring yet. About to start the battle royal. Fans, you can see that. The way this match ends is that with the competitors thrown over the top. Over the top. So, uh, yellow is, I think, going to get into the match in just a moment. But you see other competitors in there. The waiting. other competitors don't matter because the yellow man is in this match. Okay, is yellow feeling good about his chances. I think he's going to go ahead and get into the match and get it started. Give him the spoiler alert. Tell him who's going to win. So the winner of the match will be the person who is the last person standing in the ring, and after other members are eliminated by being thrown over the top rope. And what's his name is? We don't know that until the match yellow is over. Man, you tell him. You tell him who's going to win. The winner. Tell the winner of the match is the last not to be eliminated with the over the top rope throw. Feet have to hit the floor. Yellow man. Yellow man, tuxedo time. That's who's gonna win. You got so a problem with what I'm saying? We're trying to get into, sorry about this folks, we're trying to get into some of the action. There we are, Malachi coming off. Oh, Malachi hits Chicano power. Malachi back up again. Heading for Raven Havoc. Raven Havoc just nailed him. It's a big Rob sulking around. This is an interesting thing. Uh, Mike Mars may have hurt his hand. So, Raven Havoc diving around, trying to keep up with the action. I'm going to try to get out of here. Sorry about that, folks. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get out of the action here. Okay, I'm sorry about that, folks. I'm going to try to get in and, and make the call here. As you can see, people in and out of the ring. <laughs> Referee Big J, has there been any eliminations yet? No. Okay. As you can see, the Comic-Con fans are hot and heavy. I'm going to be stationed over here. Referee Big J, what are you looking for as far as an elimination? It doesn't matter now, whoever wins. Okay. And the feet have to touch the ground? Both feet have to touch the ground before you get eliminated. Okay. TDT is out. Watch out. Archangel is behind TDT. In the ring. Mike Mars. Let's keep an eye on this. In the ring, Mike Mars is. Oh, and poke of the eye by Yellow. So in the ring, uh, referee Big J, elimination only happens in the ring. Is that correct? Yes, yes. No pinfall, no submission. No, no pinfall. Okay, so I'm trying to get a close-up look. Right now we've got Big Bite and Yellow going after trying to eliminate Mike Mars. We've got Big Rob, Xavier Maxim taking it to Big Rob. Big Bite is down. Big Rob 
looks to be in trouble. So I want to just let you know, outside of the ring, Malachi, newly crowned tag team champion, work his way out of the ring. We've got some of the fans here. How, how do you like the action so far? Uh, 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 I like it. Yeah. Okay, fans right here, they got good seat in the front row. Mike Mars working on Big Bite. Yellow working on Xavier Maxim, driving that head into his throat. I'm sorry, fans, if we're not getting all of the action, but we're doing the best I can to call it. Going to go by, check in with our referee. Any elimination so far? Not yet. Okay. Oh, my goodness, that's a cross-body block. We've seen that. The fans, if we could just get a shot of here, that uh, there's been a total takeout over here. I don't know if we can get security. Archangel working his way back through. What What is your job at this point? Um, just wait for the elimination to make them go through. No elimination so far. There, there are a lot of people in a way playing it safe because they're outside of that ring fighting it out. But this is this floor here at the ballroom of the Marriott does not have much give. They're fighting it out on the floor. Xavier Maxim going out with Malachi. I'm going to try to get myself out of harm's way. There's TDT. I'm going to try to get myself out of, around here to see the ring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. As you see, Chicano Power has just knocked out TDT. We're going to try to keep track of what's going on in the ring. We've got Malachi, Raven Havoc in the ring. Raven Havoc with the suplex. And that's the only way elimination can happen, folks, from this in-ring competition. So make sure we keep focused on what's going on in the ring. Okay, what are you seeing from your end, referee? A lot of crazy stuff happening around here. And, uh, no elimination so far? No elimination so far. We've got Big Bite, the new champion, working his way outside here. Looks like Archangel going Archangel now working with Big Rob. Big Bite, the new NRL champion, working his way back in. What are you seeing from your vantage point, young man? Um, all I see is just straight madness. Just yeah. madness. Do you have a th who do you look like? Who looks good here? Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for the dude with the red hair, red dress. All right, so we're working our way around here at the beautiful ballroom in the Marriott Hotel Airport. Greensboro, North Carolina. Big drop kick by Yellow. Chopped by Malachi. Xavier Maxim. Boy, he's taking Malachi into the turnbuckle. And I apologize, folks. It's hard to call all this action. Just if you're keeping score at home, folks. We've got one, two, seven competitors in the ring. Referee Big J, what's your responsibility with these outside? Oh my goodness, we've got to limit. Oh my goodness. Is that, referee, is that a first elimination? First elimination right there. Okay, Bobby Yellow has been eliminated. Okay. We've had our first elimination, Bobby Yellow. You got a problem with me? I don't have a problem. I'm sorry about that, folks. Okay, big bites out. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm sorry fans, I got involved in something. Big J, what's the situation now? Well, Big Bikes eliminated. We got Malachi eliminated. And Raven Havoc's been eliminated. Okay, Raven Havoc eliminated. Um, you can't see this. He's not eliminated. Okay. Big Bikes and Malachi have been eliminated. Lot to keep track of. Have there been any eliminations on your end? No, not right now. Okay. 
Chicano has been eliminated. Okay. Chicano eliminated. Young man, what you seeing from your end? I see the coach um, like let, got hit. Is there somebody you're pulling for? Yeah. <laughs> that guy right there. Yeah, TDT. Okay. Yeah. All right, fans enjoying the action here at ringside. It's now four squaring off. Mike Mars moving from pillar to post, knocking everybody. Mike Mars is going to try to eliminate all three of these. I'm going to try to get a feel. These four are still in the match. Big Bite, Big Bite, are you doing okay? Bite. Okay, Bite is okay. We hope we get some medical personnel. What are you seeing from your end here? Oh man, it's just ruthless out there. But hey, make sure you subscribe to Kid Stinger Gaming on YouTube. Get all that good content. Kid Stinger, who are you reading for in this? Who do you like in this match? Um, the, the one in the corner or the one hitting him? The one hitting him. Okay, so Kid Stinger pulling for Raven Havoc here. Yeah. Okay. Big chop by Xavier Maxim. Taking it to Big Mike. This Mike Mars is a big human being. TDT going for the TD Slash. And boy, that thing got the worst of both of them. Raven Havoc was able to react with a knee to the face of TDT, but I still think he took a blow. Look at him, he's pointing to his head. He's hurt, but he got the better of that deal, Raven Havoc did. Raven Havoc is tough, he's from Flint, Michigan. You know anything about Flint, Michigan? It's a tough place to grow up. Xavier Maxim going, taking Raven Havoc over, okay. We want to check. We want to check. Check. Uh, Big J, are you okay? Oh, I'm good. Do you need medical personnel? Or are you going to be able to make I it through? I can make it. I can make it. Big J has been caught up in the crossfire. I didn't see exactly what happened, but he's still in it. So let me try to get it in an outlook. So, are we down to three? Three. Three competitors. Okay, fans. I found we're down to three competitors. If you're keeping score at home, we're down to three competitors. Big Mike Mars, TDT, former NRLL champion, and Xavier Maxim. Looks at this point, it's everyone for themselves. It's hard to get Big Mike over the top rope. TDT trying. So that's a big blow was dealt to TDT. It's going to be very hard to get him over that top rope, though. We're down to three. Xavier Maxim, the smallest of the three. All three appear to be going right at each other. I'm going to go right back in and see if I can get a closer look. Our referee. He's a, big Mike got his leg over, and he's been scooped over. Okay. What, what do we have here? Mike Mars has been eliminated. He's out. Yeah, Mike Mars is out. We're down to two wrestlers fans. Come on! Big J, you doing okay? I'm fine. Okay. What happened to you? I don't know what happened. Big J took a blow. How do you see this thing coming out? We got one of the fans here at ringside. Say it again. Who who do you think's gonna win this one? I think it's going to be the one, the big one with the black shirt. Okay. He thinks big TDT is going to win it. Fans here excited. This is the most exciting moment, moment of the Battle of Royal. Go TDT! This fan rooting for TDT. TDT with the advantage. The former champion, chopping Xavier Maxim. Fans here at the Comic Con really rooting on this match. Fans, this is as exciting as a battle royal can get when we get down to the last two. He's calling this shot. Uh, so the fans yelling woo in honor of Ric Flair, a frequent visitor to the Marriott in Greensboro. How do you see this thing coming out? Um, I think uh, Gate City Guardian's probably gonna win. It's definitely a good match, bro. I enjoy it really much. Okay. Lots of you like battle royals, don't you? Yeah, I do. All right, so we're down here, down to two. Xavier Maxim got him. 
trying to weaken him. Max comes off. A drop kick to the TDT already fallen. Just to clarify, I know if you're keeping score at home, no pinfall, no submission at this point. No, just one minute over the top. Xavier Maxim setting up. He's setting that boot up. TDT to his feet. He moves. TDT kicks him in the gut. TDT going up in pile driver position. He's going to put him in a power bomb. He puts him right on the ground. But again, fans, a pinfall does not win at this point. Somehow TDT still has to get him up and over the top rope. What, what, what did you say, young man? Throw him out. Do so you think TDT's got him here? Huh? Does TDT have him here, you think? Yes. Yeah. People got their phones. TDT going to the top. Now, if you look here, there's not much room to operate. He's holding on to actually the roof of the, of the thing. He's scaling across the top rope. Now, Big J Washington, in case he falls this way, he'd be eliminated. TDT flying back, and he missed it. He missed it. His face hit the, his face hit the knees of Xavier Maxim. Now, fans, I have to think what has happened here, trying to negotiate the, the sort of the low sing, ceiling of ballroom I think it threw off his trajectory a little bit, giving Xavier Maxim the opportunity. Referee Big J, everybody seems to be able to continue. They're coming off. TDT's over. Okay, referee Big J's watching. TDT not eliminated. Poke in the eye. Xavier Maxim sets up for a super kick. We have a winner. Okay, we have a winner. Oh my gosh, Mike Mars is coming to the ring. I was going to try to get a word with the champ. All right, Mike Mars. And that's a great way to end Comic-Con with that show of sportsmanship. Mike Mars, Mike Mars, if I could get a word. I know she came into the ring. We weren't sure what was going on. What made you come in the ring and do that? Look, I'm a man of honor. I love to fight. The thrill of battle is all I live for. And that man right there, he proved that he could take me down. So that has earned my respect. So with that, I bid you adieu. And if you saw it there, Mike Mars fought a great match. TDT in there many times. TDT in there with Mike Mars, with Xavier Maxim many times. It looked like Xavier Maxim was in a tough situation. Somehow he prevailed, and we're going to try to get a word from TDT if we can. Can we get a quick word with you? What's wrong, man? So, he poked me in the eye. So we saw it. And first of all, I just want to say that was a great, great match, a great contest. We could see you gave everything you had. You came in there and congratulated uh, Xavier Maxim. What, what brought that on? He deserves it. Regardless of what's going on out there, as bad as I want it, he worked hard, he deserves it. It's Is it, his time. It's Xavier's time. Is it fair to say that you'll be right back in that line, working your way back, back up to get a title shot? No question shot. about that. No question. You know what time it is. You know how I do. I let him get his time. I'm gonna let him hold it for a second. But when I'm ready, it takes one time. The World Lecha XTDT, in second place, a fantastic performance tonight. I know he's not necessarily happy with it, but uh, that's not the last we've seen of TDT. No, no, sir, not at all. Only good things to come, baby. Good things. All right, fans, people leaving ringside, I'm gonna try to get a word with Xavier Maxim if we can. Xavier, can we get a word? OK, 
Okay, Xavier taking a couple of pictures. Fans, thanks for coming out today. If you watch this live on YouTube or on our Zoom feed, if you're watching us on delay, come on out the next time where you can see an NRLL match live in your area. And here for the first time, the Triad Comic Con champion's got the belt here. Xavier, how does it feel right now sitting there holding that that honor, the Triad, triad Comic Con champion, Battle Royal champion? You know, it feels great, Tom. Honestly, it's been a while since I've had a championship. It's been a while since I've been inside of a wrestling ring, you know, COVID and all the other BS. But this actually feels phenomenal. I forgot what this felt like. So I'm going to go ahead and first and foremost, I'm going to thank my family for allowing me to actually still be here. Even though a couple of them told me I'm too old for this, but you know what? I'm obviously not because I am the Triad Battle Royal Champion, baby. So if you had doubts beforehand, this erases any doubts you had about whether you can do what you've always been able to do. Well, see, that's the thing. It's not about erasing doubt. It's not about not having doubt. It's about overcoming doubt. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, one more time for the one time, because it's always one more time until it's one last time. So don't give up till you get to that finish line. I am your Triad Comic Con Battle Royal Champion, Mr. Showtime. Xavier Maxim. Xavier, did you say you have family here? Yes, did, did. Is your son nearby? <laughs> he Batman me. He does that. He's four. Okay, we're going to try to get a word. I know he's proud of his dad, and I know you must be proud of yourself. And I know you can celebrate this moment. What about the uh, NRLL championship? Does this put you in a position where you feel like that's your next challenge? Actually, you know, that's, that's, that's an idea. I should actually talk to the board. Uh, look, I won your first ever battle royal championship. How about if you make this an annual thing? This championship will allow you to cash it in for one shot, one title shot against the NRL, NRLL heavyweight champion, whenever, wherever, however. Oh, I, I love that. I, Tom, you are a genius. I love it. So uh, just one more question. Was there ever a point in that match, because I even said, you know, it looked like the odds were against you. You were up against two very big men, two very skilled competitors. Did it ever feel like, okay, I'm, this, this might be too much to overcome? Never. See, that's, that's the entire reason for the name Showtime. Because until the cameras stop rolling, until the lights go out, until the curtain is closed, the show must go on. It doesn't matter if the guy is seven foot tall, eight foot tall, Andre the Giant, Giant Gonzalez, The Undertaker himself, I don't care who it is. If you're in my way, and you're in my way of getting to the goals I want to achieve, I promise you, I will get over you by any means necessary. Well, you heard that, folks. Congratulations to Xavier Maxim. He'd even take on Giant Gonzalez if he was here. And he's now the Comic-Con champion, the Battle Royal Comic-Con champion by winning this. We want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm sorry the event's over, but we've heard from our, our founder of this event that we'll be back here in the future. And you know, keep an eye out on your social media for NRLL events coming up in the near future. And we'll see you next time right here in that ring.